how low is the condition okay how low is the condition of this cow herd cow herd is this gopikas who belong to a group of nomads going from forest to forest in search of pastures and and who are corrupted by loose sex relationship prevalent in their society i do not know what is that <laughs> in nomadic culture maybe that they are mentioning yeah. but they are not so nomadic because krishna's gopis eh? they were just little girls right little girls are married married maybe in early days they used to get married but they used to move from one home one place to another for grazing purpose of the cows that's why they are talked about in bhagavat they are saying na se um that they are saying that there no yang siyo anga no nitantarena prasado sarjo shitang nalina gandha ruchang kutonna they are talking about this ladies they are they are not so so in a in a sophisticated way they are not very why they are talking about them because they are married and they are again running for krishna is that the reason to say or anyhow that makes sense let me yeah because they are all married everyone is married girl and they have their husband they have She's their family children the not loyal to the husband and running for krishna whatever may be when you find a anyone born in a human flesh and bone huh people think it is a bad relationship mm-hmm. you know? so in that sense you can say apparently that 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 they are they are not but it is little aspersion you no know, on the gopis to say thou that the relationship they are corrupted by loose sex relationship prevalent in their society this is i do not know maybe but it is the main bars we are not it is not explanation look at that it is the translation of the main parts of the bhagavat mujh bavichar dushta is the first line you see kema striyo banachari bavichar dushta ha bavichar means it's not not following the norms and puritan character distorted is perverted uh, that is the meaning babichara they are dushta dushta means they are they can be blamed for this babichara not one pointed love deviated love that they have that um, this swami is a really scholarly swami he has explained it swami uh the swami of our sangha the the translator is to question on the swami very great swami of our order very truthful to their original translation anyhow so whatever bhagavat has written written ha huh? it is no man personally uh, blaming them but corrupted by the loose counter and how inconceivably distant from that state is the deep seated and powerful longing of the soul for the supreme lord krishna as he manifested in them hmm. so the one side how low is the condition of these ordinary ladies who have uh, so called in the outward life they are not upholding the great character of uh, what you but well, you can did you get a book go and purchase I purchased the book. Yeah. Bekit Bhakti Ratna Boli, and we are reading hundred eight page. Hmm. And one side is their character. In spiritual life, always say you should be this and that, but you see their love for Krishna, the Lord. Uh, one side this, another side this. What and what makes them so special? that the ages together people are remembering this so called ladies huh? as the greatest expression of devotion hmm? even they say i want to be born like that in a family huh? 
And in, in the, here he says, last verse we read the other day, I want to be born in Vrindavan. Huh? Why in Vrindavan you want to born? Because that has a dust of the feet of the this, this cowherd girls who love Krishna so much. That is so pure. Their love is so pure. Even their feet touch the ground. That ground has become pure. Oh, I want to be born as a creeper, as an insect even. When I, how when I, great is the glory of these gopis. See that. People, here is the point. If tremendous love for God comes, it counteracts all your negativities. Forget about what one has done, what has thought, what has... Eh? Everything supersedes. Only outpouring love for God takes away everything. That is the glory of this bhakti school. That is the point where to remember why. Hey, you said you had to do something. Go. Come after that. Hmm. So it appears that just as an efficacious medicine cures a person even if he does not know its value. Hmm? The bhakti. Bhakti is like a medicine. Strong dose medicines. Even we take a medicine, doctor give a small, small pill. But it can have that potential power to cure the entire disease of life. So spiritual devotion, if it is in the heart of one, it is so powerful that it is it removes all the disease of our life, past life, hundreds of life, thousands of life, good, bad, whatever you have done, that can wipe out. It is like a strong dose medicine. The Lord also bestows the supreme good on the devotee who loves and serves him heart and soul. Even though the devotee is uncultured, uncultured means not in a sophisticated way, they are very um, read the scriptures. Simple. simple. They are not gone to high school or school of knowledge and do not know how the courteous behavior one should have to do. They are most ordinary people but in glory they are so great. Neither the heavenly damsel nor even Sri Devi who is ever engrossed in him got the blessings of the Lord to the same extent as did these gopikas of the Brojo, who had the rare good fortune. You can get the book, page okay. 109. Uh, page 109. Page 109. <coughs> who had rare good fortune to have Sri Krishna rest his arms on his their shoulder in their asana. When they are dancing, uh, so everyone, this is the beauty. Their heart is so much charged of Krishna. They feel that Krishna is dancing with me only. Each sadhaka. They are all great spiritual aspirants. No? When you meditate, what happens? When you meditate, 109 page top. Yes. Top of 109. Yes. Hmm. So, in your meditation, when it depends when you feel that the Lord is there and you are there. Is it not? And a deeper, deeper and deeper point, if you can dive into it, then what will happen? You will feel he is there only for you only. So every, these gopis are so blessed, so one-pointed in love for Krishna, that everyone felt that Krishna is with me. The Jivatma, Paramatma, the union of them. That Rasha, Rasha Lila is unique in that sense, because other way, it can be a, a not a very spiritually inspiring story. Ah, Krishna dancing with so many gopis, and these gopis have their family, husband, and they give up all their responsibilities. Uh, what type of relationship, what type of ideal Krishna is showing? It sounds like something out of the 60s, right? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the point. But it is not so. It is God. That's why everyone is feeling. 
In, in, in human relationship, it does not happen. One can think that one man and 50 women, they, every one woman will feel, are the one person, but it is 50 person as it were. As many souls, so many feeling in their heart. A tremendous, a form of Krishna. Yeah, I just saw a painting um, of Krishna and the gopis, and they were, it was so sweet because it was depicted like they were little children mm, too. Actually. But instead of just having one Krishna, mm. they had ev Krishna Everyone. dancing with every single that, one. That is the idea. They were so sweet. No, that is the philosophy. Yeah. And that is the Krishna here is saying, it's who yeah. Bhagavad is telling that. It is nothing to deal with the human love. But the language is human. What can you do? Right. Now, when you love someone, what do you do? Forget about anything. You hug. You love your son. What do you do? You hug. You love your friend. What do you do? You hug. You love your husband. You hug. You love your wife. You hug. You kiss. These are the expression of your love. But when it goes to God, this human love becomes divine love. And when you cannot see God there, the divine love becomes so many pitiable. <laughs> Sometimes it is a torturous love. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> People want to get out of the love. <laughs> I don't want anymore. <laughs> but it can be elevated to the divine. So this is the glory of the Bhagavad says. And because of that, he says, when... What then to speak of other devotees? How fortunate would I be to become a grove, a creeper, or a plant in the Vrindavana in order to be covered with the dust of the feet of these gopikas who abandon their relatives and virtues, virtuous conduct as understood in the world. What is called virtuous behavior, spirituality, stands on the foundation of character, isn't it? Apparently, it will, if it is not God, it will appear to be not a good character. But because they are so pure, otherwise mind does not go to love God. So they felt attraction for God. That's why they rejected everything else. Two things. You may reject one thing out of frustration. You may reject anything because of your bad experience. But it is for the greater attraction of the divine, everything falls off. That is called the glory of purity, glory of a devotee. And these gopis are blessed with that purity. Therefore, uh, it is, though he wants to become that this, because they have been born in Vrindavan as a creeper, as a plant or an insect, because this ground is covered with the dust of the feet of these gopikas who abandon their relatives, their virtues, virtuous conduct as understood in the world and sought after the feet of Krishna, the quest of even the Vedas, who is the goal of the Vedas. So the note says, there is an implication in this verse that the gopi Kas did not know Sri Krishna to be Ishara and loved him as an earthly lover and yet attained the highest state by virtue of Krishna's transforming power. This is compared to the curative power of the medicine. First part it says, it is the glory of the Lord. No, Krishna's love is so deep, it is like a strong dose medicine. As medicine cures the disease, so also this strong love for God purifies everything. So as if first part is being expressed in that way. This is compared to the curative power. This is no doubt an acknowledgement of the redeeming holiness of Krishna. But the view of the standard text of Bhakti, Narada Bhakti Sutra and Bhagavat, they expressed in other context in the text, is that the Gopikas had an awareness of Krishna's transcendental nature as Ishwara. Though it was also mixed up with the attitude towards an earthly lover. What happens in Prema Bhakti of the type of 
described present, represented in the Bhagavata is that in addition to the sense of divine majesty, the devotee is aware of the intim, intimate personal love for the Lord, which is analogous to the human affection for near and dear ones, because the devotee feels that the Lord is one's own. The sense of the closeness and oneness counterbalances the feeling of distance which the sense which the sense of divine majesty generates. The depiction of the divine love in the Bhagavad is noteworthy for the way in which the sense of God as power and the sense of him as love are harmoniously blended. Here it is very important. First people love God out of fear. God is powerful. God can punish us. And people sometimes say, oh, I am going through this bad time. God is punishing me. Huh? But that is a very silly word. God is my own. He cannot curse me. He cannot do anything harm to me. So the God of fear becomes God of love. So that is the point here. The de depiction which the sense of divine majesty, majesty God is so great, we are awful. Oh Lord, please help me, help me. You are so great, you are so great, you are so great. That's one way of starting spirituality. But that God so majestic, high, sitting in his high throne in the heaven, then let it come down closer and closer and closer to our heart. And it is here and here and here. Any, anything more? All are stopped. Now, let us read the next verse. Shall I read this book? I said this book translation only I read, then we go to the next one. Uh, oh, that I were the wild I. Oh, that I were the wild creepers and herbs of Vrindavana and obtain thereby the blessed contact with the dust of the feet of the milkmaids. They who forsaking their family ties and living the regular path of social resp respectability. Social respectability. Actually, that's a great thing, no? To abandon the social respectability, to behave in such a way what people are talking about me. Eh? We are always afraid of them. Yeah, it's a risk. Risk. Oh my God, whole society will be talking about me. And in those days, people used to uh, live in small groups. They know each other. And this, so the community will ostracize them. You did this, in, you know, to the tribal community. If they see something, they punish severely. Yeah. That's why the high idea of in Islam came, stone to death and all this. That's a nomadic idea. Uh, the deviation from the norms of the nomadic culture. If you can and this is a tremendous departure. And you all but they don't care what will happen to them. But the society will speak. Eh? Ramakrishna said in the gospel also. When Ama was sitting and Sri Ramakrishna is dancing in ecstasy and other young boys who were around, they also started dancing. But my aim, he was a college professor, he felt shy to sit, stand and dance with the, his students also there. No, In those days, professors were very grave and they don't. There is a different time zone. But Ramakrishna scolded him. <laughs> and you cannot dance, dance in the name of God. But when you can dance in, uh, in another area, and poking him. That means you have to give up your shame. What people talk about you. Uh, oh, you are, you go to temple too much, no? Oh, you have become very spiritual. You cannot come to our party. That's a common complaint. For the young people, they go to different places. If they come to that class, they get this complaint from their friends. Ah, oh, today, the, where are you going? Once a month, maybe, they are coming for a Gita class. 
and her friends will say, oh, today you are not coming to our party. Huh? Uh, and they have the courage to, you need some courage to, uh, to ignore whatever they think. Hmm? But you go for your spiritual journey. So gopis are blessed in that way. Note, the yearning for the residence of Vrindavan as voiced by Uddhava is the pious wish of the Vaishnavas, devotees of Krishna worshippers. The stanza is on the leaves of the learned Vaishnavas and one may easily understand why so many pilgrims flock to Vrindavan and many of them choose it as the residence of their last days. No wonder that Sri Chaitanya and of Nadia and his disciples and followers who are the devotee student of the Bhagavata took to the work of the restoration of the sacred sites of Vrindavan which had fallen into decay after the sack of the Mathura and the demolition of the temples by the Mohammedans. From the Chaitanya's time to Vrindavan has become the restore uh, Chaitanya's time Vrindavan has become the rest Resort of Bengal Vaishnava pilgrimage and many are permanently settled there. After the, after the fiery uh, of Mohammedan intolerance had abated with the downfall of Mughal Empire, the Rajputana chiefs and rich sets of landholders of all parts of India built in temples and endowed the charities which have contributed to the prosperity of the Vrindavan and Mathura now. Um, I have just a technical question. So um, I understand like Krishna has many names, right? I mean, is, did Vishnu come first? Like Vishnu, Ram, Krishna, what was kind of the Vishnu order? is it, Vishnu is not a human, human, okay. it is anthropomorphic. Okay. It is like, like your angels. Okay. Uh, they're not physical personalities. So the Vishnu is the that energy. energy from which Rama was born, Krishna was born, okay. Chaitanya was born, Ramakrishna was born. When we say Vishnu incarnates in the human body and do, these are human gods who walk on this ground like us. And Vishnu does not walk in the ground. It is a transcendental level or in a what you call the in a, in a heaven heavenly about they live would you say that um like krishna is the christ came from a specific energy or would you say that he was more of a yogi that it means now we according to hindu hindu thought we consider as like krishna rama yeah. same the same narayana so he would have come from vishnu uh, we also, as a in many Hindu thought, we consider Krishna as as Krishna. So is Rama. So is Christ. That is here where here where the rustic women Im impure because of their moral laxity. Moral laxity means uh, they have given a note probably. They say that. Devotion to Krishna saves the devotee, though he be a sinner. Just as efficacious medicine do good to the patient through the social and moral character is be not upright. Bhakti is not refused to anyone and it is efficacious to all. That is the glory of the bhakti school of thought. Whatever you have done, don't think of that. Think of God. Sing the glories of God. All the negativities are seen will be wiped out. And yet these gopis had their love firmly fixed in the blessed Lord Krishna and he was cherishing an affection for them. Indeed, it is a matter of surprise that it should be so. Verily, the Lord readily lavishes favor on his devotees, even if they are illiterate and uncultured. Powerful medicines, here they have translated uncultured. Hmm. Uh, in, in this other translation we found that uh, li literally is little loose uh, losing their characters
Okay, so now let us start the today's next part. That is called 72. Then, no Brahmana Sapara Bhidamati Stava Syat. Got it? Yes. <coughs> start saying no Brahmana. Sapara Vedamati Stava Syat Sarvat Manaha Samadrishaha Sasu Kanubhute Sangse Vatang Surataro Rivote Prasadaha Seva Nurupa Mudayo Nabipar Jayo Patra Nabipar Jayo Patra What does it mean? O oh Lord, Thou makest no difference between the people looking up upon some as your own or on others as aliens. In the eyes of God, God does not think that He is my own and He is my enemy. In human consideration is you know no brahmana sa poro bheda sa means me my side poro means others sa poro bheda separation muti mane buddhi god has no intel uh, conception of my 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 people and they are others because all are his children how can he say it is mine it is yours there is no such context for you are Brahman, the all-inclusive being, the soul of all, equal-sighted and established in your own bliss. As with the heavenly tree, the Kalpaturu, your blessings fall on all who resort to you, but not on those who persist in not doing so. Rewards are according to the service not in other ways. So what does it mean? That you have no distinction. In your eyes we are all your children. Holy Mother's example is good. Rather mother pays more attention to a naughty boy. If 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 you have two, three children in the family, the others the good boy, they don't fight with anyone. They don't go into any disturbance. Mom has not to bother much about that. But that boy who is always poking someone and punching someone and doing all nuisance, mother will have to pay more attention to that. Yeah. And they know that too. Ma Sometimes that's why they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> to get attention. They just want the attention. Attention. Yeah. Attention. So here, see, tell you, sinner, no sinner. In the, God is like mother. E equanimity in vision. Rather, he he pays little attention on that side. But the good boys will be good by themselves. No. They don't need much suggestion or help. They are good by themselves. But he's little to be. So sinners are not considered as bad. Rather, they are more, they get more attention of the Lord. But, but why, why it happens? Because you are Brahman. In the eyes of Brahman, Eh? There is no two. It is a non-dual. It is only one absolute. So, the soul of all, you are soul of all, you are equal sighted, you are samudrishti. Your vision is same upon all. Like the sun, sun's rays fall upon eh? the holy and unholy, eh? on the finest thing, on the grossest, eh? or that in the what is a polluted dump uh, stock or you say a drain eh, which is polluted drain and to the purest water in the lake eh? suns rise rays fall everywhere as with the heavenly tree like the heavenly tree is called the kalpaturu tree your blessing fall on all who resort to you who comes to you for asking they get. Right? We have to approach. As we give the example, if there is a fan rotating, we have to go close to the fan. 
then you fill the air. You cannot blame the fan is partial because he is giving this air circulation to those people and not to me. No, you go close and you will feel the same. Is there some story behind this Kalpaturu? Kalpaturu is a tree. Yeah. The story is that in the heaven there is a Kalpaturu tree. And the tree's beauty is that you go and anything comes in your mind, you get fulfilled. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a story like that. But uh, for spiritual seeker, it is not good because you do not know what you want. You may want wrong thing, wrong thought come in your mind. So there is a story, a person who was very poor and was walking in the deep forest and then uh, got tired and didn't have food and drink, so he was totally exhausted. And what to do? He sat under a tree. And in that tree, he says, oh my God, God is not looking at me. Oh, I'm so exhausted. If I could get a little drinking water. And he didn't know. It is a tree, that Kalpaturu tree, wish-fulfilling tree. Ah. The name, English name is Kalpaturu, is wish-fulfilling tree. So, and he and immediately found that someone brought a glass of water and gave it cool water. He said, wow, I'm so hungry. If I could got some food. Plus, somebody brought beautiful, delicious food has come. Then he said, oh, I'm so tired. If I can get a bed and he could have lied, lie down. Then he thought, yes. And immediately, somebody bought a bed. His, whatever his thought is coming, it is getting fulfilled. Then he thought, oh, my legs are hurting. If someone could have given some massage, somebody came and massaged him. <laughs> like that, whatever his comfort he is thinking about that, everything came. And suddenly he thought, wow, but it is a end of a forest. If some tiger comes, and the tiger appears. <laughs> 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 so this is the difficulty of uh, wish fulfilling tree. Uh, but whatever you wish, you will get it. But God is wish fulfilling tree. Sometimes you can say, but uh, Ramakrishna's life, first of January, that story, which is called Kalpoturu Day, because he uh, gave the blessings to all. But he didn't satisfy the earthly needs of any person. He gave only the touch of spirituality, vision, experience. Eh? So that's why Ramakrishna's Kalpaturu is a little different. That's why in our text it says, we don't call it Kalpaturu. We call that God manifested himself for the good of others. So this Kalpaturu. So as with the heavenly tree, which is called the Kalpaturu, which is fulfilling tree, your blessings fall on all who resort to thee but not on those who persist in not doing so. If they don't come close and don't ask, don't seek, they don't get it. Rewards are according to the service. So, the idea is that, note, the God, God is not partial to any, anyone. It is open to any one to resort to him. Some do so, some do not. If man fails to do so, it is not the fault of the Lord. That means you don't go to God, so you don't feel the love of God. You don't feel the presence of God. Eh? If you your mind remains in the thought of God, you will feel it. Now, 73 then. Oh, the other book I will read it. The same, same verse, how they translated. They translated, you are Brahman the soul of all, having an equal eye upon all. You experience your own joys, not depending for the joy of external objects. Therefore, you make no distinction between people as being your own or as being other than your own. Your favor goes to them who serve, thee, serve you, as is the gift of the celestial tree to him who approaches the tree with a request. Their rewards varying according to the measure of their service. Eh? There is no dis distinction in the treatment of... So this is the 
statement. Now let us go to the next verse. Mui Bhakti Hibutanam Omni Tatwayokalpati Dishtwaya Dishtwaya Yada Sin Matsneho Bhavati Nang Madapanaha Loving devotion to me. Now Sri Krishna himself is saying Sri Krishna on the potency of the pure devotion. Uh, he is praising himself. What he says? The loving devotion to me means the God, Krishna, enable all beings to attain to the immortality. Mohi bhakti he, if anyone have a bhakti, devotion, if anyone has a devotion to me, bhutanam, mama, ma, Bhutanam Amritattaya Kalpati, they can attain immortality. Amritatta, immortality. And it is therefore fortunate that you have, that you, you, that type of devotion leading to me. It is therefore fortunate that you have that type of devotion leading to me. He is talking to whom? Krishna on the potential of the pure devotion with no other aid. Is talking to whom? Talking to somebody. It is all different collections. He's saying that you have so much love for me, that is your fortunate, and that your love for me will make you free from all bondage. So, note says, besides being a self effulgent path of salvation, bhakti is free from all danger. This is stated in the following words of Kobi, one of the Navajogis, giving the quintessence of Bhagavata Dharma. That is the next one. So I will read the other book, this book, the translation. Their devotion to me enables all beings to attain to immortality. You are to be congratulated upon your affection for me because it enables you to reach me. Let me see it is all telling about the glory of the devotion. You are how fortunate you are that you love me eh? and you will automatically, this love does not come spontaneously. It came because of your good karma of the past and this karma will lead you to liberation. As you come to me, you will be liberated. Ye vai. Ye vai bhagavata prokta upaya hi atma labdhaye anja pungsham abidusha vidhi bhagavatan hitan yanasthayo naru Rajan na pramadita karhi chit dhavan nimilya vanetre nashke na nashkhalet na patet iho nashkhalet na patet he will not slip his feet or not fall down. Dhavit na ba netre na skhalet na pate diha kaye na vacha manasendriya irva budhyat manaba nusrut nusrita sabhavat anusrita sabhavat Karoti jad sat sakalam parasmai narayaneti samar payet tat. We chant this verse, Kaya no Manasavacha. This verse we chant. What is the translation of it? Yevi Bhagavata Prakta for aspirants. 
who are not learned in the Vedas or in other scriptures. The Lord has given this Bhagavata Dharma, the path of devotion. But those are great scholars. They can go to read Vedanta. Six systems of philosophy and all these things. But those experience who are not that learned are not inclined to learn so many things. For them in the Vedas and scriptures, this Lord has provided this Bhagavata. What we are reading now, uh, Lord Krishna has given this Bhagavata. The path of devotion. Why? As an easy way for attaining to Him. Uh, a person following this path never sustains any spiritual fall. The one following the bhakti, there is no, there is no fear of falling down. Uh, that's the glory of the bhakti yoga. There is no chance of falling. Because, you know, you fall even, you know, God is there to protect you. You do something wrong, you do, I know, but I did something wrong. Oh Lord, I did it. Please, you are my father, you are my mother. Please help me. So, you can easily wipe out. But in other area, it is very difficult. Ah, you have to go for purification process or you do this, uh, this ritual, that ritual. But here is no ritual, only prayer. With tearful eyes, Ramakrishna said, you say, if you have done anything wrong, say, Oh Lord, I will not do it again. I try my best. Help me. So, you are cured. And faith takes them. So he says, the a person following this path never sustains any spiritual fall. Even if he runs with eyes closed, oh, yeah. dhavan nimilya ba netre. Dhavan means when he's running, eh? when he's running, nimilya ba, not netro the eyes, closing the eyes. With eyes closed, if one is running, nimilya, uh, eyes closed, his feet do not slip. When he's running, in God's name, if can do that with faith, he does not slip or does not himself topple down. That means there is no fear. In God's name, uh, God takes care of that. Jan Navasthayo Jan Jan Janasthayo Noro Rajan, O Rajan, no Purikshit, Noro Pramad Dito Karichit. But whenever a devotee does with his body, mind, sense, intellect, and spirit, not necessarily scripture ordained duties, but all activities natural to him, let him consecrate it all by making and offering it unto Narayan. Uh, whatever you do, by the kāyeno, by your body, we do so good thing, bad thing, to this body. Uh, so by body, by bacha, by your speech, we say sometimes foul things to the mouth, sometimes holy things. So whatever you have spoken through your mouth, through your body, you have done something good or bad, or to your mouth you have spoken something good or bad. Manasha, mentally, he may have some noble thoughts, sometimes evil thought, or indriyo eva, other organs of senses, eyes, ears, eh? hand, feet. You did something right or wrong, manusya indriyo eva, buddhyatmana, in intellectually uh, made, in, you have uh, made somebody suffer. So whatever you do, uh, 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 body, mind, senses, intellect, or spirit. Not necessarily scripture or in duty. You have done maybe not all good karma, but you have done something bad also. But all activities uh, which is natural to him, let him, well, don't worry about that. All just say, oh Lord, I give it to you. Eh? So it is yours. So you have become free. You can become free that way. Hmm? No the method which the Lord himself has laid down. Now know the methods which the Lord lays down. Know you know ye the method which the Lord himself has laid down for easily reaching him even by the unlettered and uncultured 
know them to be the Bhagavata Dharma, the religion of devotion to the Lord. Huh? Uncultured. Uncultured is a sense in in English it, it looks a little odd, but in Sanskrit it has a meaning. Arya. In Aryan race is called Arya, most cultured. In his behavior, in his talk, in dignity, uh, in spiritual practice. So they are called Aryans. Onarja, Onarja means who have not developed that cultured sense. Their mind is not sophisticated. Their way of talking is not sophisticated. They are, that's a, we, as you say, he's a cultured person. No, we, we sometimes say, oh, he's very cultured. So cultured means which are norms and this, money, social norms and things is an expert in those by education and other things. But those people who have not even those qualities, but they love God, they get cured from the disease of the suffering of life. And that Bhagavad Dharma is for them. Those who have read the scriptures, they get the opportunity. Now it is easy. On YouTube, we can get certain things or even watching uh, the uh, internet, we can find listening to talks, we can easily get things. In early days, do you think this to Bhagavat, why will you read? Only there will be some specialized Pandit. You have to go to them and search where is a good Pandit. And then you go there and serve them and then with his kindness, he may teach you if he pleases, if he does not, if he is not pleased, you will not do that. So, but now it is available. But you need not have to do anything. You love God. You need not have to learn these books. Uh, that is the example. Gopis, they are all that type of lady who didn't get any chance to go to school or get them, make them more sophisticated like that in the modern society. But they attain to the same freedom and devotion which freed them from bondage of life. Following these methods, a man does not swerve from the right path. He can run with closed eyes, neither sleeping nor falling. Whatever a man does with his body, words, mind, or by the force of habit, let him consecrate it to the Supreme Being by uttering the formula, Om Narayana. Two, I offer it to Narayana. I offer it to God. Simple language, I offer it to God. Next verse is also continuing with the same uh, spirit. It says, <coughs> 77 verse, Ishtam Dattam Tapu Japtang Brittang Jachat Mana Priyam Dharan Grihan Sutan Pranan Oti Parastat Parasmai Tat Parasmai Nivedanam Tat Parasmai Nivedanam Ishtam Dattam Tapu Japtyam Vetyam Jachat Mana Priyam Dharan Grihan Sutan Pranan Anyat Parasmai Nivedanam. So what does it mean? One should give up, A, give us offering unto the God, the Supreme Being. What you have to offer? Don't keep anything for you. All the things one you did, ishtam, eh? all good things you have done. You have given some dattam, charity. You have given some, some monetary gift, some com compassionate, a loving, a, a, consolation or whatever you have given so charities then tapa you did many austerities and all you have done japtam you have done thousands of japa eh? maybe you are every day practice 10,000 japa 2,000 japa five according whatever you do don't keep it with you so give it to God japa and other activities other activities mundane activities Whole morning till now, we, evening, we are not in that shrine, we are not in the temple, but we are not thinking of God. Even I have forgotten God, but now I remember 
then you when i remember let me offer everything oh lord whatever i have done anything good i have done anything sacrifice i did any austerity i perform any japa med meditation i did any japa i did any charity i did or any other good bad whatever i have said i transfer it to you give it to you hmm? it is like instant clearing your account anything comes in your bank account transfer to the bank anything comes in your account transfer any check comes today take a photograph and then click to the bank it goes in your account so similarly anything what happens in life just you see offer it to god offer it to god offer it to god if we can do that then our suffering is released this verse is almost the same as Bhagavad Gita, chapter 9, verse 27. Yeah, what it says? It says, whatever you do, mm. whatever you eat, whatever you offer and sacrifice, mm. whatever you give away, mm. whatever austerity you practice upon, See? Gaya, do it as an offering. Exactly you. same. Exactly same. Very close. Uh, no, the idea is the same. The idea is the, same. the same Krishna, the same Krishna saying there, same Krishna is here. Sanskrit is yat karosi, yat juhushi, dadasi yat. Oh, it's the same. Dadasi. Arpanam mat arpanam. So dadasi dattam, yat juhushi, a taptam, japtam. These are all the synonym synonym words. So whatever you do, so japa activities as also the objects dear to one in life, like your, your wife, your children, your properties, and even life, everything you say, oh Lord, it is yours, it is yours, it is yours. not me, not mine. So that is it, we are hearing about that all the time. Uh, to think, to be, I am not uh, responsible, it is your responsibility, I am your child, I, everything belongs to you. Uh, all my spiritual practices, all my good things, or all my uncon when my I, uh, uncontrolled thoughts and ideas and anything comes, everything I give you. This wife, this building, this house, this husband. Hmm. So, this verse here, they translate like this. One should learn to consign all desirable objects, all gifts of charity, Penances, silent repetition of the divine mantras, good deeds, and also that which is dear to oneself that means wife, children, house, husband, even life to all to God. Okay? So, okay, let me read this and write the translation, then we end. Okay. Bhayam Ditiya Start Bhayam Ditiya Vi Nibe Shata Shadi Shada Pitasa Oh, another one. <laughs> Beeper Jayo Smithi. Let me again. Bhayam Ditiya bhi nibeshata syat isha dapitasa vipar jayo smiti tanmaya tu buddha avajetvam bhaktai kaisham guru devatatma what does it mean? It says, man has to, jo we, na, bhayam, bhayam ditiya, those who are averse to the Lord are overpowered by his maya, power of ignorance, and consequently they forget their own nature as spirit and think of themselves as bodies. Uh, who who gets separate? Because we think that I am only this little body and mind. That's why I am separate. I'll die. Anything happens, who will take care of me? But bhayam, it comes 
those who are overpowered by his maya and do not know that there is God to protect. Those who are dityo obhinivesato, obhinivesato means attachment, attachment to this body, they get frightened. Be uh, Lord are overpowered by the maya and consequently they forget what their nature as the spirit and think themselves as body. Now, endowed with the body consciousness, they see duality in the shape of the forces of opposites, opposites opposed to them. Because I am ignorant, I think there is somebody who can do harm to me. Somebody is my friend. Somebody is my enemy. Uh, and this has come because of the God's Maya. And they see duality in the shape of the forces of opposites. And become subject to the fear of destruction. And naturally, oh, there is somebody, so he may kill me. I may be destroyed. The road, disease, disease may destroy. Some enemy may destroy. Some other person may uh, take away my peace. All these thoughts come. Therefore, a man should always serve with single-hearted and loving devotion. Whom to serve is the Lord Supreme, who is at once the teacher, the guru, the deity, devota, and the self, the Atman, who is the soul of one soul. That means, who appears in the form of Guru, Ishtra, and Devata. Okay? Guru, the teacher, deity, the devota whom you meditate upon you, and the self means that Satchidaram. He appears in these three forms. So, knowing this, uh, he will have to serve, serve God, serve Guru, serve the consciousness, all pervaded consciousness. They do this with the loving devotion, who is at once the same. He is the same. There is no other idea apart from the, that God, who is Guru, Devota, and the self. This is saying if you can't practice bhakti, practice karma? This is saying no. It is also bhakti. Mm -hmm. Different way of practicing bhakti. Uh, bhakti you are practicing. You are saying that whatever you are doing, you know, nah, this is a statement. When I am having body consciousness, mm -hmm. then I get the fear. And then I find that I may be die. I may have life. I may have a loss. I may have gain. All this duality. But when one goes and does service to God, in a Vaishnava literature, they go to serve God means in the temple, mostly. I discussed that one point. Uh, Hare Krishna, you go, they are focused on the service to the deity only. Krishna in the temple. Huh? But Ramakrishna mission will pay attention more. Forget the deity now. The human gods are now suffering. Go and serve them. We remember once upon a time there was a big flood, huge flood. And that year Durga Puja in Belur Mat is a grand thing. Uh, about how many thousands of people come and they prepare food and serve them. Our President Maya says this year Durga Puja will not spend a penny. Only the minimum items needed, just we do the regular puja. No pomp and uh, glory of spending money for mother's puja. We will spend everything for the living mothers who are in and uh, drowned in the water who has got stagnant in a place, water bound. Uh, so so we started that time, that year there is no puja. Puja was going on, one pujari is doing the puja and all money, whatever was there and all the clothing and everything all diverted to those and the truck full of food, cooked food uh, is being taken and it's all flood. We could not see where the truck will go because there is a road and on both sides is the paddy field. Paddy field is down, no? The, the, the wheel of the um, truck may fall down anywhere. So one monk is going on the, with a stick in the hand, hitting that there is the solid ground up to this point. Another on the left side, guiding the truck and going, the water is going through the water logged area and there they are unloading that 
food from the truck and giving those people. So that was it. This is the, but uh, this is the present idea, Sri Ramakrishna's idea, uh, which has been given. Yes, God is there, but God is here also. But in, the, in, in this uh, tradition, it is more you meditate on God, pray here, and pray the, to the deity, take care of the deity, worship, put flower and offering and everything. It is a more of a one-to-one, -one God and me, that is God. It is taught here that we are ignorant because of the Lord's Maya, who are, which we all fell is not within our power or control. It is stated in the Gita, my Maya, consisting of the three gunas, is difficult to overcome. Those who take shelter in me with loving devotion overcomes it. So we must have God's grace if we have to get over Maya. <coughs> and how will we get out of the Maya? By God's grace and be freed from the fears of fears and misery of arising from ignorance. Grace is bestowed on one who loves the Lord and resigns oneself to Him. And God can be loved because He is the soul of our souls and not a stranger. If He were not so, love would have been impossible. As the teacher, He comes to instruct us in the faith of devotion, in the path of devotion. As a deity, he enables us to adore him and to strengthen our love and devotion to him. Thus, it is maintained that the path of devotion is sufficient in itself to help man to attain the samam vanam. Okay. So, we end here. Glory of bhakti. How devotion can lead one. So now let us go for a cup of tea and and tonight uh, uh? Thursday and this Thursday am I going anywhere? This Thursday I'm here. I'm Thursday, yeah. but I uh, I'll be out probably from next next I'm here. Uh, that means this next Thursday is the last class and then it will be again in August someday because I'm going to Atlanta and then from there to Houston, Houston to Austin and back. You got away whole week. About 10 days maybe. I'll, I'll let you know that day. Yeah. Yeah, that, that we can request him. He is coming today. He is in high mood. He has gone for a retreat. He went for the retreat. So we'll be eight August. Will be next class. Actually, uh, this Thursday morning. Next day after tomorrow. Yes. And then will be eight August. Uh, but at least Mahajanandi, if he's possible. Can take this Tuesday class, not two days. Okay, yeah. not I can request him. Okay, that would be good. Okay. That notice, uh, I think our okay. ye can give. Yeah. 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 from Germany. Yeah, he will be speaking tonight. What city is he from in Germany? Eh? What city is the center at in Germany? He's in Berlin. In Berlin. And also, she uh, he is in Frankfurt. In Frankfurt. Germany. Yeah. Three centers. Bhayam, come. How are you? Huh? You seem a little tired. Or? Oh, really? Maybe because I was in the sun. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Let us go for tea, cup of tea. And by this time,